Hey, welcome back everyone, Toys Just here, and I'm back yet again with yes, another Disney Gargoyles video, and today comes courtesy of my friends over at NECA Toys, we're taking a look at the second Rookery Brother, also the second in command as the series went on, the one and only Brooklyn, the big old pterodactyl Jersey Devil looking gargoyle, right? The artwork on these packages are amazing, by the way. And you have some equally as amazing photography showing off the figure on both sides of the box. And once you get it open, you get to see what the figure entails and another really nice photo of said Brooklyn. On the back side of the box, you got, again, really nice photos. You get the same write-up that we've seen across the entire Gargoyles line thus far. If you want to go ahead and read it, you can screen grab this right now, along with every single character that has been released, minus Lexington, swap him out for Thalog. Lexington will be out at a later date. Here is everyone involved with the creation of these figures, so thank you very much for that. And here is the barcode as well. Look for Brooklyn and Broadway to hit store shelves relatively soon. So, this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new, straight from Disney Gargoyles, the Brooklyn Ultimate Action Figure by NECA Toys. And while I got all you Dracons here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my Gargoyle videos. Now, if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. I guarantee you'll find something here that you like. And stay tuned, we will have more Gargoyles videos as they come out. I believe Angela is next. But in the meantime, we have Brooklyn complete with a pair of building crawling hands or just posing hands, right? And all scary hands along with a pair of fisted hands. And both are all painted nicely with the fingernails too. You get some torn pages out of the Grimorum. And if you're not familiar, this specifically comes from the episode Temptation. It's when Demona kind of confuses Brooklyn to help her brainwash Goliath, which he was totally okay with, right? <laughs> I never really cared for Brooklyn. Out of all the Rookery Brothers, Brooklyn was kind of like the one where you thought, yeah, you know, he might be evil eventually. There's something up with him. But it's a great episode, Temptation. And with these torn pages, along with said Grimorum, if you have the Demona figure, yeah, you can complete the episode, so to speak, right? They look like little torn pages out of the book because uh, Brooklyn pulls them out to control Goliath. You also get a pair of shades. Now, again, this hails from the same episode, Temptation, when Lexington builds a motorcycle, and uh, good old Brooklyn takes it for a spin, ends up getting into a fight with a biker gang, but he just looks cool. And they do fit on his head rather well, both head portraits. So if you want to go snarly and have glasses, you can do that as well. I would say, if anything, just go really easy on them. They're very thin. Now, if you ever collected the 90s Kenner toy line for Gargoyles, then you might recognize this next accessory. This being Brooklyn's Lance. No longer yellow. It's got a nice wash to it. It's very sharp, very thin. It's just a nice design overall. Very cool. And he does have a few hands which allow him to hold it. So I definitely like that nostalgic throwback. We saw it with Broadway. We now have it for Brooklyn. And we will see the same thing with Lexington. It's very thin. You don't want to hit it the wrong way. Just go very easy with it. You also get an extra head portrait for Brooklyn. It's a very snarly head. It's very cool. Very well done. They've captured his very beaky face. Although I would have much rather preferred a jaw that moved on this. I think that that would have been really cool. They nailed his hair. He's always had this white silverish hair. It's very well painted. Got little semblance of blues and grays in there. The one problem being is that it's very rigid. It's not going to work with you, especially when you want to put it on his neck and you want to also include the wings. More on that in just a few. Speaking of the wings, you get two of them. And they're giants. These are probably the biggest wings. They don't really have a curve to them. They got lots of little details, like his little three-prong hand kind of thing right there. That's awesome. Creepy, but awesome. But all the colors 
everything looks great. The texture looks great. The paint looks great. When you kind of hit it in the light to a certain degree, it's got a nice little sheen to it. Different colors pop out as you move it around. So very well done wings. If you've known the Gargoyles line so far by NECA, you know how these wings go. And you have a really nice looking Brooklyn figure. Of all the Gargoyles lines so far, this one for me is definitely a standout. I like the reds. The wings are pretty cool. He's got peg holes on his little toe right there on each side, <laughs> much like Broadway, right? You have the same type of bendy wire tail that all the gargoyles have gotten thus far. There's no paint on this one, but it's very bendy and it does aid him in standing up. You've got the peg holes on his back. That's where the wings obviously will go. And with the hair, much like hair in general for action figures, if it's longer, it will hinder some elements of articulation. Although his neck and his head are two different parts, so I do like that. You get an extra little bit of articulation out of it, along with articulation at the jaw. I totally dig that, and that was a big missing element from the Broadway figure you can make him talk to if you'd like. That is very cool, I like that they did that. It's the same exact articulation that's not crazy or anything, but they have included, like I said, the extra amount of neck articulation to kind of help you get around the wings, kinda sorta. They nailed the face portraits, the arms, they have bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, the wrists, yada yada. It's the same articulation. He's got a bit of an ab crunch, it'll swivel, swivel at the waist, He's got his little belt buckle and loincloth, and he's got the legs and the knees. They'll rotate the knees. Got the big clawed hopper feet. Everything is pretty sound. Nothing is loose, and that's always important when standing these gargoyles figures. Now, on the back, you just simply attach the wings. It's pretty self-explanatory, and he does look great. The one problem I would say presents itself with this particular head portrait, again, with the hair. When you want to start moving the wings, the hair becomes a nuisance and it kind of makes it hard to even get this head on the ball peg and get it all situated. You kind of have to figure it out. Once you get it, you get it. But he becomes very back heavy with the wings. And I would say go very easy with the wings. Now, in terms of the scalature, you can have Brooklyn always telling off Goliath since he knows so much and Goliath knows so little. Again, that's why I kind of... Didn't really care for Brooklyn. He was always just a problem. You know what I mean? He's kind of sassy. And in terms of looking at the entire clan thus far released, in terms of the height for Brooklyn, I think they nailed that. I did say that I felt that Broadway was a little bit too short. Not as big as I would imagine or have would think in my head for Broadway, but I think they nailed Brooklyn. You can kind of mess with Broadway's feet and haunches and kind of stand him up a little bit more, so that's good. So you can get a little bit more height, but I wish he was just a little bit bigger, let's just say. So that'll wrap it up for my look at the brand new NECA Toys Disney Gargoyles Brooklyn Ultimate Action figure. And again, thank you to NECA for sending this out for the purposes of this video. And again, I'm really digging what they're doing with all the gargoyles. It's a really fun toy line. The wings, as I've said, to ad nauseum, I'm sure you get it by now. The wings are enormous. The wings look better when they're draped or if they could figure out some more enclosed wings. Yes, that would be better, especially for display purposes, but it doesn't take away from the fact that it's an awesome toy line thus far. So you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Disney gargoyles. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, next up should be Angela. Fingers crossed. We'll get another gargoyle or two in the future. Can't wait. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.